Hey, it's Hot937, Hot937.com, man. Buck and Reggie in the morning. Well, just me right now. These cats right here got New York City on fire. 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 Crack, crack, boom, 4-1 in the building. Fire. Building. Yeah, I'll shot. 41 in here. That's a fire. Fire. Introduce yourself what, individually, man. Four's Ty. outside some movie, man. It's your boy KR the G. Road Kyle Rich on the grid. This is Jen Carter. It's your boy Tata, Mr. Everything Daddy himself in the flesh. We outside. You wouldn't believe these young cats got the city on fire like that, man. How'd nah. y'all guys do it? How, how long y'all known each other? Well, I know them for like three, four years, going on four years for me. Mutual friends. We all had mutual friends. So we was always around. Did y'all know in the beginning y'all was going to get together and do this 41 thing? Like when we first linked up, after that, it was over. Like when we all three first linked up, it was just... Nah, yeah, like when I first seen that. Tata... I knew he was a star. I just knew it. For what me, is it about Todd that made you think he's a star? What is it? He just carried that star power energy. Like, for me, he walked in the room. I'm like, damn, that nigga gonna make it. Gangster. For me, I just had a nigga move, bro. Todd, how'd you feel about him when you met him? How'd you know? For me? I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, different. Like, he had a different type of style. Like, when we made our first track, I'm like, oh, yeah, we about to, for me, evolve and go to the top. My son Jen was there, too, like. She had me nervous a little bit though, cause she wasn't really saying nothing. I couldn't really <laughs> feel her out till like that third, like third time I see her. It was up though. Jen, when you met him, did you did you did you say this could probably work, or did you know it from out the gate? When I met him, I ain't gonna lie, not to say he wasn't in there, but I thought he was in there. Like I already thought he was like yeah, famous already. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like the way he was rapping, like he been doing that shit before, and I was just starting. So for me. He already knew what he was doing when he got in the booth. Now, in, so. individually, before you became one, how, how was it? Which, how was you guys moving around individually? Uh, what you mean? Like, performing-wise, re- music-wise. Nah, we wasn't really doing music like that for me. I used to try. It was a hobby. Yeah, I used to just do that shit on the side for me, but I didn't really take it serious until, like, two years ago. We all really started together, if you think about it. We all started it. together? That's, right. what, that's when we started really taking it serious. Next, it was a hobby, though, like... When we linked up, we was in the studio like every day. Before that, we was like matching twenty five. Once it, <laughs> yeah. 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 everybody yeah. put twenty five for the session. Twenty five dollars. They were <laughs> making sure everybody got exactly thirty minutes. <laughs> <Word of that. laughs> thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you go over, it was <laughs> quiet. Out the booth, bro. Nah, yeah, niggas was. Niggas was not having it. They wasn't. There, Shit, bro. all paid off though. Now the first time you guys, you guys knew something was gonna happen. What was the first experience when you saw the crowd really react and surprise you guys? And you guys said, "Yo, we got it." Drill Nation. Nah, yeah. Yeah, Drill Nation. The first time we performed in our city, for me, when we performed in our home team, the crowd went crazy. They showed mad love. The first time? Super Hell yeah. Because it's tough to get love the first time. You know, you know, New York can be finicky sometimes when they see somebody in the neighborhood. Hell yeah, bro. It was, it was nah, going it was crazy, going up, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. We was dropping music, and then we just decided, let's do our own sure. show. Let's put our own show together. It went crazy. So y'all put the show together? Yeah, our man yeah, is right or wrong. Man. Shout out right or wrong. Label. Man, New York is is a tough place, and you guys seem to be breaking out fast, and it, you're leading the way right now, man. And it, it seems like not just you guys, but everyone in this movement supports each other. Why is it so important for you guys to support each other? So you you'll show up at another group video shoot, and you'll support them. Why is it you guys? How is it that important? You guys support each other, and why? We're a team. Yeah. Nobody better than the other. Yeah. We all yeah. equal. And we, we all going up together. Man. Everybody want each other to win for me. It's no hate. It's no envy and shit for me. We all genuinely want to win together. So for me, when your heart pure, you can't lose. Mm. Gangster. Music wise, man, who's pushing you behind the music? Who's who's the guy behind behind you guys pushing you guys and teaching you guys the way? This this lane because it's music. This music industry can be tricky. It can be it can be crazy. You can meet some you can meet some people that you looked up to and they may act a certain way. You know, so who's teaching you guys to stay true to yourself and just keep moving? The big bros. I mean, our management, those the big brothers, like, really, like, for me, helping us get through, like, the maze. Like, it's like a maze for me, but we chilling. We, like, teaching ourselves, too, like, just being around and learning how to adapt to certain situations. We done shout out, like shout bit. out, shout out to Five Years, shout out to TJ for me. Yeah, that's a fact. If you put him on, shout out to TJ. My me man a lot called me um about a month ago. Hood, Hood called me, said, "Yo, Buck, we got some, uh, we got somebody, we got a group for you cats." This was like a month ago, and he was talking about you. Uh-huh. Hood's my man too, so he was from the, out the gate. He was calling me about you guys. So shout your team my... feels you're, you're real heavy. Yeah, shout out Big Bro. <laughs> that's a fact. Out of support. Man. We just we celebrating fifth years of hip hop right now. Now, down the line, when we celebrate hip-hop again, you guys are going to be in that list. 
Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, how you feel about Hopefully. making your imprint right now? Because everyone's talking about hip-hop and how important it's for you guys to make an imprint now. So in the future, when this comes up again, they talk about 41. It's a blessing, bro. You're just trying to keep the legacy going. And at the same time, time, build a legacy of our own. Mm-hmm. We got big shoes to fill, bro. We from Brooklyn. Yeah. We got a whole new sound yeah, to not, introduce the hip-hop community. Growing up in Brooklyn, tell me some people you guys looked up to, looked at. Um... I fucked with Biggie a lot for Biggie? me. Biggie, R.I.P. to Biggie. Yeah, Angster. he was a goat. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Yeah, I was yeah. Steffi Pop. Pop the way Pop came up. Pop kind of he kind of he kind of like led the way for this movement. He was he oh, jumped yeah. out. Pop had it. He was number one with this shit. I ain't gonna front. Niggas wasn't tweaking with Pop. He, he showed the, he showed niggas it was possible. He did gold. Yeah, he gave yeah, a lot of people really, hope. Yeah, Angel, he, like he paved the way. Like he showed like oh we can make a super bag and go to the moon off like our sound. And he was moving in the streets before radio, and that's the thing. He he had, he had fans before radio. Radio came to him. Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out Pop Smoke, RP. It's a fact. Now your song on the radio right now is "Taking Over the Streets," man. Tell me about this song, Bent. <laughs> Super Bobby. <laughs> it's Bango just a crazy. fun song for me. Super that shit Bobby. Is fun. Play that shit. I get in my mood every trip. It's every little, trip. It's a little addicting to listen to. Is it di- that shit got right, cracking. Yeah. Yeah, that beat is wild. You gotta play it back. Does it, the first does it still chorus, excite you when you when you hear that joint? Come on, does it still do? Every, every single time. Every, every, play that shit at a party is quiet. <laughs> even <laughs> even before the lyrics does. start playing, it's understood. As soon as niggas hit the beat, they go. They go. Everybody start. They start walking. When you first heard it on the radio, what was that reaction like? When you first heard it, say when Flex dropped that joint. I was mad happy. Nah, Flex showed mad love. He dropped it, right? Yeah. I was, I'm like, yo, why is this on the radio? I'm like, yo, this didn't even come shocking. out. That's shocking. That's <laughs> shocking. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, who sent him this? <laughs> 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 Say, didn't even come out yet. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this about to be the one. Yeah. They're playing unreleased tracks on the radio. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, when you hit the streets, you, like, you're recognizable now in New York. You're recognized where, where you go. Is that different recognized. for you guys? I right. mean, like crowds and stuff. Well, at these games, you went to a baseball game, a football game, or something, and you, they had to escort you guys out. That oh, takes no, years yeah. to get done. <laughs> that takes years to get done. Yeah, that was crazy. Yo, the kids was banging on the doors and yeah. and trying to get inside. They just, I don't, they be going crazy for us. It be shocking. And they was acting like it was our fault. Nah. <laughs> oh, the, the management got yeah. mad at you. I'm like, yo, move. I'm like, they always try to victimize us. We just be trying to show love to the fans. I was just trying to talk to the fans. Yeah, we love seeing the fans. The fans is going crazy. That's supporters for me. (sighs) You think that's the help of social network? I mean, you guys did that before radio. What? How? How do your music spread around? How do you get it to spread so fast? So like it's a media, lot of bro. methods. I ain't gonna lie, it's 41 methods to get paid. Bro. <laughs> you, could, you, you could go on TikTok. I ain't gonna lie, you right. realize TikTok is TikTok. Oh my God, that yeah. shit is gonna make your shit jump for me. Right. Just jump on the viral sounds for me. Jump on what's moving and shit, do the trends and shit. Nigga, your shit is gonna jump. That's one way. It's a lot of ways. Another reason people probably straight towards us is our personality. Mm-hmm. You know how real we are, authentic, creative we are with each other, the chemistry we got. People just love to see that, so we for me. You just gotta be yourself in what yeah. you do. You guys Have fun with it. You guys are doing a show with little TJ, you guys are on stage. What's it like what's the like to watch you guys on stage? You said said chemistry is important. That was our you first guys... like big show. When he brought us out the first time, mm-hmm. that was our first crazy show. That was your show. first big one? Oh uh, yeah. I'm like, oh nah, this is what like yeah, I right here. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's early but here's a question I ask a lot of people who've been in the game for a long time. What do you prefer? The big, big arena shows or do you prefer them tight five, six hundred people shows? No, I like the big shows. Yeah, like the definitely big, shows? big, big shows. I like the big shows because there's a lot more people. The tight shows, it just be hot, but I get to, but like, I can energy. reach the fans, yeah. You can reach yeah, Like, you I can really reach really the fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can look at them face to yeah, face, right? Like, they, that's be the just, difference. they be so hyped to see you up close. It'd be that's mad crazy. hot. Yeah. It'd be mad hot, though. What's the next? What's the next song coming up? What do you guys got ben. coming up? Ben. But how do we? <laughs> Matter of fact, yeah, Ben Remix. That's a ben, remix? <laughs> ben Remix. Who's on the remix? Hold on. Surprise feature. Surprise feature. Surprise feature. Uh, we got a lot source. coming up. A lot coming yeah, up. Yeah, we got an EP. We got an EP. Album. We outshine. Bro, we about to go crazy. Oh my Super god. Bible. Where's home for you guys? Where are you guys from? Brooklyn, Brownsville. Born and raised in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Where am I, Dad? Strong hip hop, MOP. There's a lot of legends come out of Brownsville. You got an MOP sample coming out too. Oh, do you? Mm. That's gonna be crazy. You're not crazy. ready for that. Mm. Did you have to go back and listen to it to get it? Did you, did you listen to MOP before you knew who they were? I did. Of course. I know. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Well, they I, made, I, made the beat, I made the beat with my manager in Philly. 
we listened to the song, picked yeah. up the song. Yeah, the niggas made that shit from scratch. Yeah, yeah. With, with, with a producer, yeah, we sat down next to the producer. And y'all put it together? Yeah. All right, they built a beat. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it's important to, to bridge that gap with, with your generation and in the, in the, in the generation, my generation. That's important, I think, to make this thing move forward. It has to happen. Mm. You know, I'm looking forward to see what's coming down the line for you guys, man. I'm about to go crazy. You're super viral. <laughs> it's just. Uh, what's not? If I was to look at your phones right now, what would I look at? What music would I see in there? Ourselves. All huh? types of music. Myself. Oh, you just listen to you. <laughs> like, like. You yeah. trying? Like, Eighty percent. Come on, you gotta listen to something. Nah, else. like seventy-five percent of, of in my phone is like my, what I listen to is literally myself. Uh, I listen to uh, like Friday. It's like a selective couple of artists that I listen to. Yeah. Uh-huh. I listen like the Friday. I listen to a buggy. Sleepy Hollow, some Lil Dirk. Sleepy Hollow got a hot new joint, too. Let's know. Lil Jen, Dirk, who you listen to, Jen? Lil Dirk, Lil TJ, uh, Lil Baby, Raw Wave, Rilo. It's a fact. Uh, Same thing with you, Ty? I was a oh, young yeah. boy, too. I fuck with Rilo, I fuck with young boy. TJ Dirk. Cause I, cause you I, listen to him on your own. Because uh, <laughs> people, some Chief people Keith, be hating, bro. Chief Keith. Um, Polo G. Um, Meek, for me. I fuck yeah. with SZA. I fuck with Ben Fayaz. Fuck with. Oh, he got some R and B like him too. too. Um, I listen to all types of music. I ain't gonna lie, gangsta. I really love music. Yeah. Music is me. That's crazy, man. We gotta get you. I know you're here for the new TJ show, but we gotta get you back up here for a, a, a show with about a 500, 600 room and where you sweat and really touch these people. That's what I want. <laughs> that's gonna be. That's fun. what I want. That's, that's my tough. kind of show. I like. That's me. Nah. That's uh, tough. I've been on big hot. shows my whole life. I like the small, intimate shows. Where you, I can feel it, and you can feel your real fans come out and everything. Yeah, but it do get hot. Like recently, I've been changing middle of the performances. I'll be sneaking yo, off to go I change because it be mad know what hot. Like, yo, where you get you know, from? for me, I wear <laughs> I wear a good fit for the for the pictures of the fans, and then two oh, songs in so- two songs in, I'm wearing shorts and a white tee. You know, switched back. up. Yeah, right. <laughs> it get hot real fast. <laughs> man, it's crazy. Yo. We appreciate you guys for coming through, man. I can't wait. Thank uh, you for, for the EP to come appreciate on, man. I'm looking forward to the EP. I want the remix to bet. Can somebody give me the remix first? When the remix coming? <laughs> it's coming soon, bro. Super we soon. just gonna drop it. It's gonna be a surprise. Yeah, we just going for me. Not even. Y'all ain't gonna tell it. nobody. It may come on like six o'clock tonight. Y'all, y'all got it ready already. <laughs> it might come. Yeah, it might be coming out right now. You don't even know. Man, that's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, forty one man. Thanks for coming by, man. The new song, Ben. I know ain't no music going, but give me a little, a little sample of it right now. And let's see, I mean, Pat. Uh-huh. Like, when is we fucking again? again? Like it, the, it's gone on. But like, fuck it, it, kick it, it, it to the Throw the gun, chop out a walk like. Sip walk, can't, can't even talk like this. I can't help it, I stay in the stores. Bitch, I be towing and in your like, like this. I just met her, she told me she love it. Like she just want money like this. I got to taste a lot Casamigos on her lips. I'm coming on stage next time they perform the show. I'm a little older, but I'm coming on stage. Pop out, we outside. Hot now, 37, man, 41.